Okay guys, uh, what you're uh, listening to is a little uh, two inch uh, speaker build that I uh, made this afternoon in about a 30 minute period and it's in response to a request I had from one of my viewers or subscribers said, hey, it'd be pretty cool, challenge myself to build uh, not only reconing a speaker but to build a basket itself and uh, the magnetic holder so that's what I've done. Now, um, this is probably not what they had in mind, uh, would be my guess, since this is like a little two inch prototype uh, speaker made out of a cardboard tube, a magnet, just a little leftover speaker cone material. But uh, let me just walk you through uh, what I've got and I'll describe the uh, build itself real quick. I'm just uh, streaming some um, audio here from uh, TWKD. And uh, it's got some oldies on there for uh, folks into the uh, radio restorations. It's a, a great uh, streaming source to use. And uh, I'm feeding this into my amplifier. And uh, I've, by the way, I've got my uh, settings on my uh, iPhone set to mono. And I'm pushing everything to the right channel. And then I'm using my right channel output. And uh, you notice I've got my voltmeter hooked up, and the reason I have my voltmeter hooked up and looking at the AC voltage feeding the voice coil, I think when I wound this coil, it's a leftover coil, by the way, that I'm using here. Uh, I think it was around 3.2 ohms of uh, DC resistance. So I can take the DC resistance and I can look at the voltage and I can calculate roughly the wattage of the uh, speaker when I'm driving it. So I'm just trying to keep the uh, volume at a low enough level that I don't cook the uh, voice coil, cause it to overheat. So that's why it's hooked up. Um, anyway, back to the uh, build itself. Um, small piece of cardboard tube here. Uh, you can see roughly uh, two inches in height. And then a bottom plate um, just a row of uh, magnets here to get to the uh, correct height. Uh, they were just glued here. And uh, this piece was attached as, as such. And then um, for the uh, spider, I used uh, some fabric uh, tool. I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, it's a nylon fabric. And I've got about uh, four sheets with some uh, spray-on epoxy applied together in an overlapping fashion. So uh, maybe I'll do another video on that because this is the uh, fabric that uh, I think I'll use to uh, create my new spiders on my rebuilds uh, going forward. Um, a lot of uh, flexibility you can see. Maybe too much in this case. but. Um, I may have needed a couple more uh, pieces of the uh, fabric here to get the uh, the tautness that I needed. But uh, anyway, kind of a uh, fun little experiment. I took a, a piece of uh, speaker cone that I already had left and uh, attached it to the uh, voice coil with some uh, quick dry epoxy. Now I could have um, use my uh, craft paper uh, but again I already had this just left over here laying in a scrap pile and I really didn't want to dedicate much time about uh, 30 minutes or so to put this together so I'm hoping maybe there's some um, you know there's some uh, school age folks out there watching a uh, little science project for uh, school maybe this will come in helpful as well I'll describe the uh, technique and steps I took uh, to build this put it together so if anyone else is interested in uh, reproducing it or making it better uh, that'd be perfect again this was all for fun now the uh, the person that requested maybe a speaker basket build in the future uh, stay tuned uh, maybe I'll actually try to build one uh, 10 or 12 inch uh, speaker or something from scratch that would be uh, kind of a fun project but uh, I need to get back to the uh, Zenith, I think it's 5S29. My uh, power resistors came in. need to get that can dome uh, replaced, so that'll probably be the uh, next project. And we'll let some of the speaker fun uh, 
you know, pass for now and then uh, maybe some future videos. With the exclusion of the uh, little 6 inch uh, or 5 inch speaker that I'm working on right now uh, that will finish up with the uh, surround. So um, anyway, I'll crank it back up here just briefly and uh, you can hear it play. Again, I've got a little bit of vibration here off the uh, rubber mat, but um, amazing what you can get out of a little 2-inch uh, homemade speaker.